All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Tri Jake cycling class. My name is Jake, owner of Tri Jake Fitness right here in Wellesley, Massachusetts. And this video is an opportunity for you to get some at home instruction on your indoor cycling bike. Today, what we're going to be doing is some rolling hill climbs. So we are going to practice this with resistance and we are also going to play around with our RPMs, Caden counts. So <clears throat> if you haven't already set up your bike, please do so and make sure you hop back up onto there. If you need help setting up the bike, please watch the beginner's video, which is also at tryjake.com under live workouts. Get yourself a towel, get yourself a bottle of water, maybe two, and let's get into the ride here. So. I'm going to use a couple of visual cues while we go throughout the class, but before we do anything, let's get loose. Drop the head down to one side, nice big stretch, hold just for a moment, keep pedaling, just let the body warm up. Let everything drop down nice and easy, shoulder blades down, maybe roll them back, roll them back, four, two, one. Hands together, maybe twist the spine. Ring it right out, feel good. Feel nice, feel relaxed, all right? Upper body nice and relaxed. Lower body's driving this thing, right? Good, let's roll the shoulders forward. Excellent. Three, two, one. All right, get your hands back down here on the handlebars. Call it position two. Right here, normal road resistance. And we're going to get right into the ride. Five, four, three, two, one. So we're gonna be playing around between 20 seconds and 30 seconds for each rolling hill. I'm going to tell you to add a specific amount of resistance onto your bike. Very similar to how maybe when you're cooking you add salt to taste you're gonna be adding resistance to feel, okay? You wanna tax yourself out, you want this to be difficult. Own your ride, own your bike, and own your results. I'm not there doing it for you. You only can challenge yourself as much as you're willing to try. So, eyes forward, shoulder blades down and back. Here's our first set, 20 seconds. Add resistance onto the bike, that's gonna slow your pedal cadence down. Two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Helping you out with the old pedal cadence counts, maybe somewhere between 65 and 75. We're gonna hold here 10 seconds. Good team, looking good. Drive through the pedal stroke and resistance down. That's one little hill. Take the resistance down. And remember, you're pedaling down the back side of a hill right now. So you're probably gonna pick up the pace a little bit. Keep good control of the bike. Good, this feels nice, this feels easy. Catch your breath. In 10 seconds, we're going to add resistance back on the bike. And we're going to simulate a nice hill climb. The only thing to simulate hill climbs is resistance on the bike. So we're going to add resistance again. Let the resistance drop down your RPMs to 65. One, two, left foot, right foot. Or right foot, left foot, whatever you prefer. One, two, one, two. Good. So this is hill number two. Just nice rolling hills. As the, glass, as the class progresses, we're going to continue to increase resistance. The hills are gonna get bigger and the intervals are gonna get more difficult. Five. Four, three, two, resistance off the bike. Good, hill number two complete. RPMs come back up just as though you were on the back side of a hill. All right, so now we're gonna get into some more sustained climbing as well as standing climbing. Feeling good. I just want you to add a touch of resistance. Let the resistance of the bike slow you down, maybe 75 RPM, something like that. A little quicker than you were before. And maybe let your hands creep out in front of you just a little bit. Lean forward. We're gonna try and simulate more of an authentic ride. Hands out in front. Feeling good. Feeling really good. Good. 
10 seconds, we're gonna come out of the saddle. Before we do, add just a touch of resistance, just to feel, just a little more difficult, and up out of the saddle. Notice when I come out of the saddle, I don't shoot out of the saddle. I'm not standing real up tall like that. That's not what we're looking for. Keep your butt back over the saddle, power driving through the pedals, spine nice and long. Good, we're gonna hold here. We got 10 seconds. Eight, six, four, two, and drop into a seated climb. Don't anybody touch the resistance knob. 30 seconds seated climb. So we're still going up, still going up. It's a long hill. That's all right, team. Keep your towel handy, keep your water handy. In 10 seconds, we're gonna get back up into a standing climb. Not so bad, not so tough. It's a power move. Three, two, one, back out of the saddle. Again, notice how I come out of the saddle. My butt stays back over the saddle. This helps lengthen my spine. And I'm driving through each pedal stroke. Remember, we're simulating going up a hill. Now the bike itself can't really move, so you have to add resistance to get that simulation. Five, three, seated climb, and drop and climb, 30 seconds. And then I promise you can have a drink of water. Good. See, that was already 10 seconds. Time flies when you're having fun. Five, three, two, resistance off the bike. Back side of a hill. Just because the resistance goes off the bike, that doesn't mean you stop pedaling. You know, I watch a lot of, I watch a lot of bike racing, and whenever I see somebody take a drink of water when they're, in, when they're out in that Peladon and they're, and they're cycling, they never look like this. I've just never seen that. So we're always trying to search for an authentic ride. So that's important. All right, we gave you 30 seconds break right there. Eyes back up, shoulder blades back down and back. Hands out to this third position. Add more resistance than you had on there before. That's right, nice seated climb. And we're gonna move out of the saddle in three, two, one. Come on up. Good, same form. Good, heavy resistance. Heavy resistance. RPM 65 to 75, depending on how you wanna challenge yourself. Remember, if this feels easy, add resistance. That's on you, challenge yourself. I'm challenging myself. I'm always challenging myself. I always wanna get better. I'm always trying to move forward. And that's what I try to get you all to do. So keep moving. Let's go. Good, five, four, three, two, seated climb. Down, 30 seconds. Nice job. Nice job. Simulate that hill climb. We got 20 seconds. Resistance gonna come off. And then we're gonna be going on the back side of this hill. Remember, this entire instruction is over rolling hills. If you're looking for endurance work, after this video, click on endurance work. That'll be 60 minutes of awesome cycling. Start with the hills, resistance off the bike. Downhill simulation. So do 30 minutes of this hill workout, and then go watch the endurance workout after this. That's 60 minutes of awesome calorie burn. That's what we're trying to do. We're just trying to stay active. We're just trying to get the heart moving. I understand. It's important. Fitness is not a luxury. So keep moving. So we're moving ourselves down the line here. Stay focused. Remember what we're doing today. All right, we're coming down to the base of this hill. We got a nice big chunk of land in front of us. In about five seconds, we're gonna hit another hill. So I want maximum resistance to hit the bike right now and come out of the saddle. Slow your pedal cadence down to about 50 RPMs. Keep moving. 
Eyes forward, shoulder blades down and back. Real simple stuff here, guys. You're just going up a big hill, that's all. Just going up a big hill. Keep climbing, keep climbing. Keep the same resistance on the bike. Eyes forward, get ready to drop it down. 10, eight, six, four, two, and drop and climb. Maintain that same pedal cadence. Climb up that hill. 15 seconds. Good. 20. Keep climbing. Eyes up, breathe in, don't forget to breathe. Halfway. Big hill, big climb. You can hear me, I'm a little winded. That's good. Six seconds. Four, two, back out of the saddle. Good. 20 seconds out, 20 seconds in. And halfway, we got 20 seconds to go. Stay with the boss. Ready? Three, two, one. 20 in the saddle. This is it. Resistance is gonna come off the bike in 15 seconds. Come on. 10, eight, grind through. Pain is temporary. Get the results that you want. Two, one, resistance down. Catch your breath. Maybe a little wipe. Water, good. Excellent. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Good. So now we're gonna do some sustained climbing. We're gonna stay in the saddle, 60 seconds a pop, okay? The best cyclists in the world do indoor training on cycle bikes. The best cyclists in the world do this drill for hours. Hours. I'm asking for the next three minutes. Now we're gonna take 30 second breaks in between, but I want you to get those RPMs to a position to where they're about 65 RPMs. And that's basically like simulating a nice hill climb. So hands back to two, nice comfortable position. We're gonna stay in the saddle the whole ride. And each time, each time we start a minute climb, I'm gonna ask that you just put a little touch of resistance on the bike, just to make things difficult, just to make things interesting. So get yourself comfortable. 65 RPMs, ready? Set, go. One minute. Nice, smooth pedal strokes. Good team. Sustained road climb. If you're an outdoor rider and there's a, there's a long, fairly steep hill somewhere in your neighborhood, take yourself there. If you've done some traveling out west and you know what it's like to be going up some of those mountain trails that just seem like they go forever, then that's where you should visualize. But remember, this is a nice, long, sustained uphill climb. So it looks like we're over halfway. We got about 20 seconds left. And then we're gonna take a break. All right, we're gonna take a break in 10 seconds. Good, eyes forward, keep moving. Now when I say take a break, I don't mean take the resistance off. I just mean take it easy for a second. Slow down, slow down. Maybe, maybe this is a nice little seated flat for you. I don't know, something, something easy, something to let you catch your breath. The reason I don't want you to take resistance off the bike is because in 12 seconds, I want you to use more resistance than we did on the first set for your second sustained climb, which is gonna start in three, two, one. Add a touch of resistance. Pedal cadence back up to 60 RPMs. One, two, one, two, one, two. That's about right. All right, good. So find a happy place. We got three sets of these. We're right in the middle of our second set. Feeling good. Approaching halfway. 
One second to halfway, 30 seconds to go. Sustained hill climbing. As I said before, the best cyclists in the world, this is what they do all day. And it works, it really does work. So stay with it. Good. We got 10 more seconds, and then we're gonna take a break. Five, four, three, two, one. You can just take it nice and slow. If you want, maybe come out of the saddle just to catch a breather, just for something different. Nothing wrong with this. We got one more set. When we start the third set, I'm gonna ask that you add resistance one more time. Remember, this is a sustained hill ride. This entire class is about teaching you and training your body to train the hills. Two, one, drop it down, touch a resistance. One minute, pedal cadence back up to 65. Big difference between 60 and 65 RPMs on an indoor bike. There just is. The more you cycle, the more comfortable you get, the more you'll understand that. But for now, one, two, left foot, right foot, right foot, left foot, one, two, two. Every time the foot strikes, that's when we're counting. Doing good, guys. You're over halfway. You're over halfway through the class and you're over halfway through this sustained climb drill. 20 seconds remaining. Eyes forward, don't sacrifice form, and don't ever, don't ever make the resistance so heavy that it feels like you're climbing stairs. It should never feel that way. You always wanna have a nice, smooth pedal stroke and resistance all the way down. We got 30 seconds. Water. Delightful. Love a little water. If you need to take a second to breathe, you got about 15 seconds. I try to keep a clean house up here, but as you can see, I got a little sweat going. Feels good though. Feels good to be alive, you know. All right. So let's add just a touch of resistance back on the bike, and we're back in that seated flat. Now we're going to do an exercise that I call the resistance game. We're going to maintain a pedal stroke. We're gonna pick one that we like, okay? I'm a big fan of 75 RPMs. So that's about where I kick this up here. So I'm at about 75 RPMs, but you don't have to worry about that stuff. All right, just find a good spot that you like, that you feel comfortable with. And what we're gonna do is, every 20 seconds, we're gonna add a touch of resistance. We're gonna do it three times. On the, after the third time each time, we're gonna drop the resistance all the way down. So you can have a little breather, catch a little water. Okay? So here comes the first set. Ready, set, turn up the resistance. Good, good. I got a little crazy with mine. A little too much resistance, maybe. Halfway, 10 seconds, you're gonna add more resistance. Just a touch. Don't get carried away. Three, two, one. Touch your resistance right there on the old resistance knob. Just enough to feel it. Feel that heel drop at the base of the pedal stroke. Really work the body. Notice my upper body's pretty calm, but my lower body, tremendous machine. That's where you're developing your power, your core stabilizations. Ready? Last time. Touch your resistance. But maintain that pedal stroke. Don't slow down. Nobody told you to slow down. You can stop when we're done. But we ain't done yet. Good, six, five, three, two. Now take the resistance down. Woo-wee! We got two more. Two more. Good. Breathe in. Breathe out. Two more. Good, nice seated flat. Catch your breath, let your legs recover. Recovery is really important to do this kind of stuff. Eyes up, shoulder blades down and back. 12 seconds, we're gonna do the resistance game again. So I'm gonna add a little bit of resistance on my bike because I like to challenge myself. Ready, 
set, add a touch of resistance. Let's start the process again. Three sets. Ooh, I bet you like to challenge yourself too. Probably why you're on an indoor cycling bike watching a guy like me tell you, you're not doing it right. Let's go. Ready? Add a touch of resistance. Let's go. Oh boy. Good breath here. Maintain that pedal cadence. You got 10 seconds. We're gonna add a touch of resistance. This is the second circuit. Ready? Touch of resistance. Crank it up. It's about max effort here. This should knock you down. You should really feel this on the bike. Really feel it. Good. Eight seconds. Six seconds. We're going to take the resistance off the bike. And two. And one. Resistance down. Wasn't so bad. We got one more. 30 seconds. And then we're going to do some standing climbs. Oh, hey, I'm excited about it too. <laughs> Good. Halfway. Now's the time for water. Now's the time for that extra breath. Eight seconds. Boy, I love working out. I love being active. I love just being able to be up here doing this. Ready, set, go. Good, 20 seconds on here. Resistance up. About the same resistance as you had during that sustained climb. That's about what we're looking for. Good. 10, eight, six, four, two. Resistance up again. Let's go, 20 seconds. Oh boy, oh boy. Remember, it's corny, but it's all about the journey. And the journey is the obstacles. And the obstacles in this case is adding resistance on the bike. So don't get lazy. This might be the only 30 minutes you have to do something for your body today. So take advantage. Ready? Last set. Whoa! Feel that resistance go through the bike. I know it doesn't look like I'm doing anything up here, but if you're doing this along with me, you know that that's a bunch of bull. This is the real deal. Drive it out. Three, two, one. Resistance all the way down. Good. Third circuit. Nice work. Stage two done. We got one more stage to go. All right. So we're gonna get back into standing climbs and I'm looking for maximum efforts here, okay? Some instructors call these sprints. All a sprint is in the fitness world is an anaerobic effort. Anaerobic meaning you're working outside of your body's capacity and you run out of oxygen so you run out of breath. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna come out of the saddle for 30 seconds. We're gonna drop into 20 second sprints. We're gonna do three of them. And then we're gonna finish high and mighty in the standing position. I'm excited about it too, team. Get ready. We're gonna take off here in about 20 seconds. Add some resistance on your bike. Maybe creep your hands out here to the third position. Good, get comfortable. I'm gonna be asking a lot out of you. Maybe add a little bit more resistance. Enough resistance to where coming out of the saddle seems like it's the only option. Like you have to come out of the saddle to keep pedaling. Add just a touch more resistance and here we're out of the saddle. See, I don't ask you to do much. I don't ask you to do anything without purpose. And the purpose right now is to get you in a position to dominate your sprint. So we're gonna hold here 20 seconds. Good form, kind of lean forward. The back is nice and flat. The eyes are up. The chin is out, the chest is up. This is how you should be looking. You got eight seconds. And then I wanna drop down into a maximum effort in the saddle. Two, one, drop it down, kick it out, let's go. Ooh. Come on, 15 seconds, 15 seconds. We're doing three of these bad boys. Let's go, let's go. Call it out, five, three, two, one. Resistance down, nice work, water. Listen up, no rest for the weary. 
Resistance back on the bike. Three, two, one, out of the saddle. Good, I told you, no rest for the weary. So add enough resistance to where you really feel like you're going up your favorite hill on your favorite ride. Pedal cadence, 60, 65, something like that. If you're at 75, you don't have enough resistance on your bike. If you feel like you don't have enough resistance on your bike, turn it up. We're working hard today. Ready? 20 second, maximum effort in the saddle, hit it. 20, 18, 16, 14, 12, come on, 10, drive it, 8, no excuses, 6, home, 3, call it out, 2, resistance off the bike, that was 2, we got one more baby, one more to go, and then we can cool out, a little water, we're still riding, a little water, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a break on this one. A little bit of a break on this one. Pedal it out. Breathe in, get that oxygen. Just take a minute, breathe in, breathe out. We're doing anaerobic work, so you should be pretty out of breath. One more to go. Crank the resistance, hands to three, out of the saddle. You are a professional by now. Looking good, looking real good. Here we are, see where we're at. We got 20 seconds out of the saddle. Looking good, team. You guys look like pro riders out there. Be a pro. Stay professional. Eight seconds. Drop down. Last time, maximum effort. Are you ready? Counting down, two, one. Drop it down, maximum effort. Here we go. Breathe, breathe. Nice. 10 seconds remaining, always forward. Let's ride. Come on, burn it out. Four, three, two, resistance down off the bike. Nice work, everybody. Nice work. Well done, well done. Let's go ahead and cool it out. Get your hands back to the second position. Resistance down. Cool it out. Maybe reposition yourself on the saddle. Excellent. Open your chest up. Maybe wiggle out the arms. Nice and loose. Now look, if that was just you getting warmed up and you thought that hill workout was great, go back to the live workouts at tryjake.com and maybe do the endurance video right after this. I recommend that. That's a good ride too. So. All this stuff is free. I'm just trying to make fitness a priority in your life and I'm trying to make it accessible to as many people as possible. So thanks so much for tuning in and please watch the other videos. And remember to eat healthy, give back, and always, always move forward. You did great today, be proud.